from this video uh, is just don't let the mil don't let the media use fear to control you. Uh, all their main purpose is just to make money, and that's it. They distort facts because for uh, like today, when earlier, you know, at work, you know, I'm listening to you know Af a couple African Americans are talking about that shooting that happened where the, that cop murdered an innocent person, and. You know, and I understand what they're saying, and I agree with them in that case. But the thing is, though, the media rarely, if ever, reports police officers killing whites. They don't report black and white crime. They do not. Re they did not report the knockout game. Uh, you know, they did not mention the race of the people when they use they were going, using the knockout game, knocking out white people. They just didn't do it. They just called them youths. The media knows how to divide people. They're doing it for money. That's all they care about, making money. They're not doing it because they care about one group or another. None of these people in the media really care. They're just trying to make money, and they use fear. They, what, they make you afraid of guns because that's what the politicians want them to do. They support one political party or one political candidate over the other because that's just, what they, that's just how they are. They don't, you know, they're not on your side. In the 50s, they would have been... So, Supporting the conservatives. Today they support the liberals. It's just how they are. 20, 30 years, who knows who they're going to support. You cannot really assume automatically that the media is on your side. The media is not on your side. They're on the side of money. That's all they care about is getting people to watch their programs, getting people to watch, listen to them, read their papers, and look at all of them, Fox, CNN, all of them. You know, when they're, you know, over and they're having the credits, look who owns all of them. Look, look it up, who owns them. Some of the people that own the liberal uh, papers and media own the conservative ones too. They know how to use fear to control you when it comes to guns, immigration, uh, the Muslims. I mean, they have, the Muslim terrorists are bad, but not every single Muslim is a terrorist. You know, it's, you know they know how they're doing you know, the war on women or racist, sexist, homophobe, and all this other nonsense. You know, they... they uh, Liberals hate America. Liberals and Democrats, they want to take your guns. The conservatives war, uh, hate women. They have a war on women. They're racist and all that stuff. They don't give you evidence of none of this stuff. Always, This is why I always say, always read and look things up. Always do that on your own. You need to mainly read and learn things that are opposite of what you believe. Read books and everything that support views you disagree with. Watch videos of views you disagree with. That's how you learn. That's how you grow as a person. Do not ever listen to the media. You know, do not get your medical information from the media. Please don't. You know, Yahoo and all these other people, they have health advice and science and stuff. Don't get your science from them. Yeah, you go ahead and watch, listen to them, but get, try to find a peer-reviewed paper that they're getting it from if they are getting it from one. If they're not getting it from a peer-reviewed paper, then you cannot really take everything they're saying seriously. Just do not. I mean, the media is basically there for entertainment. That's what the news is. It's mainly for your entertainment, especially for the United States. You know, the media is controlled. They tell you it's not, but the media is not. The media is not free, and they're not on your side. They're on, and then I'm not saying it's a conspiracy. It's not. It's just all about money. They keep people divided. Race is their favorite thing. That's why they do not uh, report too much on white on black. I mean, black and white crime. They ignore it. And but they report black on white crime. They, they just that's just what they do, you know. They don't report the police killing whites. They don't rep report black police officers killing people too much, you know. Look at the Baltimore incident. It's just the way they keep people divided because they know these racists. Well, look at this. The ra black racists will look at it and see that, oh, look, the police are this and that. White people are this and that coming after us. White racists look at it, oh, white genocide and this and blah. They, you know, you, if you listen to them, go to their websites and stuff, you know what I'm talking about. And the same with, uh, you know, uh, gender things, you know. It's the same type of stuff. They ignore the fact that men pretty much get screwed when it comes to paternity, you know, being child support. You know, a woman can rape a 14-year-old and and that 14-year-old will have to pay child support or 12-year-old even if she's convicted of rape. How about the situation is reversed, what would happen? It's just you can't trust the media. They ignore things and they distort facts. 
And I'm sure most of you already know this without me saying it, but it, it bears repeating. Feel free to like, subscribe, watch my other videos, uh, you know, however you want to do it, you know, it doesn't matter what, but thanks.